Now, let's move to Virgin. Bronwyn, what do you think should happen here? Because the Chinese company that owns 20% of the collapsed airline, Virgin, it hasn't collapsed, but the VA uh, airline uh, Virgin Australia, uh, threatens to sack 2,000 staff. Its Virgin CEO has said this today. Don't let this company bleed out and don't let the corporate raiders act like vultures and pick the bones of these jobs and these workers' families. Now, that is, of course, a uh, Labor former head of the Transport Workers Union, Tony Sheldon, uh, sending a message to the CEO. Now, Bronwyn, what do you think should happen here? Because, look, I want friendly skies. I want fair skies. We're going to have a chat to Michael McCormick a little bit later about this. But fairly obviously, it's a foreign-owned company. Australian taxpayer well, money shouldn't I, be in there. I think we're very grateful to Alan Jones for exposing the fact uh, that that particular company, uh, calling itself Swissport, uh, is in fact owned uh, by the same uh, Chinese um, uh, fly, uh, aeroplane company that owns 20% of Virgin. And it simply was dishonest, I think, of that company to go out trying to demand money out of the Australian taxpayer when it is entirely foreign owned, trying to pretend that it is a European company calling itself Swiss Port and having some uh, corporate uh, entity in, in Switzerland. So I think we have got to really draw a line in the sand. We have got to say that we have got to stop selling Australian companies to Chinese communist-backed com corporations. And we've just got to find out how many more of these there are. It is quite improper for these people to be asking for taxpayers' dollar, taxpayer dollars to bail out a company which is wholly owned by a very rich uh, member of the um, of the Chinese Communist Party with Communist Communist Party backing, so quite properly the government has said no. Now what happens now? What happens with regard to the um, uh, the uh, the negotiations that will happen for Virgin, which is a very fine airline, excellent airline, and the people who uh, staff that airline, the people who um, are acting as flight attendants and all the people who are associated with it do a fantastic job. And many of them came from ANSET. Uh, and that ought not to be forgotten either. So I think uh, that the commercial um, negotiations that are going on with regard to Virgin itself now also have to be applied uh, to the company that supplies the support. Quite clearly, we can't put planes back in the air if we haven't got people on the ground to do that work. But we cannot be blackmailed uh, by a, a particular shareholder, Chinese Communist Party shareholder, in both that company and Virgin itself. Yeah, Nick, uh, but this is, look, this is the issue, is, is, is that the government has turned around and has made it fairly obvious that... Apart from the fact that the airline was fairly obviously going to go into voluntary administration, putting money into that process before it went into vo voluntary administration would have been downright dangerous. Um, it's now in a position where there's apparently 10 different people who want to purchase it. I've got to say, and I will flag this right now, um, I think that Macquarie Bank shouldn't be allowed to buy that airline because they own the airports and that would be uh, potentially unfair to Qantas, where literally they would have a preferred client and, you know, Qantas has had it good for a very long time. What do you think about Virgin and where it goes here and what role the government plays? Are they traffic cop or do they physically do they get involved with our cash? Yeah, look, I, I, this is sort of one of those 52-48 calls. Uh, I, I, could, I could see an argument going either way, but I, I think on balance, given that there is clearly quite a few players out there who are ready to buy into this airline, I think they should um, let the market play out or certainly start let it let let's see what happens for a little while longer before you'd contemplate the the government stepping in. I mean, let's not forget uh, Australia is undoubtedly better off for having two airlines. We get better service and and cheaper flights as a result. But Virgin Airlines has racked up five billion dollars in debt, and a lot of that um, debt, you know, just will never be serviced, and a lot of people are going to lose a lot of money, including a lot of mum and dad shareholders in Australia who who had shares in that company. Now, you remember Scott Morrison for a day or so there was suggesting that the Transport Workers Union superannuation fund should go and buy it. I think you them. agreed with that and idea, didn't you? It, it was, no, no, I, I didn't actually, for the record. And I think uh, Scott Morrison was being, you know, joking when he said that because, of course, the next day when he got asked, well, is the government going to invest in it, he, he sort of ruled that out. So, look, there are a number of uh, other big aviation players who are, who are lining up. They will probably be one of the Chinese airlines, I suspect, will end up buying it. 
And look, um, I don't if they do so. so and it continues to operate as an airline in Australia and we, the Australian consumers, benefit as a result and those people keep their jobs, well, look, I don't have a problem with that. Well, well Bronwyn, is this, is, uh, are you suggesting, or no, I won't ask it that way, I'll ask it this way. Um, is this an opportunity for the government to say uh, there's an airline here to be saved but it has to be an Australian company that saves it? Well, it doesn't, doesn't necessarily have to be an Australian company, but it can't be a, the Communist Party of China. Right, OK. So, you're, so, so you believe that this is uh, um, because of how important that is or because you don't believe that China should be investing in companies that big? No. I, I think you have to understand that China, the Communist Party of China government views Australia as a vassal state. They want to have our, res our, our resources and our food supply, but they want us to kowtow to them. And that means prostrate ourselves in front of them and pay homage. That's not the Australia that I see. That's not the country that, that uh, my father fought in World War II for to give me the gift of freedom. That's not what I have to up uphold as a member of the Australian community, as someone who loves my country. I want to see People who invest in Australia do so because it's a legitimate business in Australia where Australians are gainfully employed and the overall purpose is not to try and control uh, our country but in, in fact simply be part of the, the free enterprise system that we have. Now there are plenty of other parts of the world uh, where we're delighted to have the investment from uh, and indeed perhaps if we have a, a rule that says if we've got to buy something and it comes from China or somebody else, buy from somebody else, hopefully something that's made by ourselves here in Australia. So I don't think you can um, find it acceptable to allow a Communist Party-backed um, company in China uh, owning a whole airline and all of that means in, in security terms in Australia.